And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On today's episode, we've got news of the day for the 16th of February, 2022. We're going to get into this and play this GeoGuessr news event game as a no time limit moving aloud challenge so you can play along. And as always, the play along link will be in the description below, as will the news articles that we feature in this game. The links are in the description as well. I'm thinking about doing possibly 10, which would mean it, uh, two games, but 10 news articles. Um, comment down below if you would like to see two games or 10 news events, or if five's good, meaning five that we feature here on a daily basis, or would you like to see even a different type of news, or is this good? Comment down below. Welcome your ideas, your suggestions, your criticisms as well. I want to make this a great um, daily game and or just folks that want to watch a video of some news stories, news events of the day uh, for everyone out there. So let's get into this and see where this takes us. <clears throat> And we've got the ocean, we've got the green, we got some palm trees, and do we have any English? We do maybe have some English around here. Do we? Do we? Well, we can't really see. The one thing we will see right here, what does that say? It looks like shark swimming area. So sharks are in this water, which leads us into this news story of the day in New Zealand scientists discover a rare baby ghost shark so New Zealand scientists have discovered a rare baby ghost shark a little known species of fish that lives in the shadowy depths of the ocean ghost sharks known as chimera rarely spotted and sightings of their young are even more uncommon this newly hatched shark was collected at a depth of 1.2 kilometers or 0.7 miles underwater near the South Island. This is uh, according to Dr. Britt Finucci, a neat find. Um, deep water species are generally hard to find, like ghost sharks in particular. They tend to be quite cryptic, so we don't see them very often. There it is there. Uh, interesting, I, 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 you know, I like animals, I like fish, I like sharks, I like um, just this and the sea life in general. So this uh, stuff interests me. Uh, hopefully it enters you as well, because quite frankly, you just don't know what's at the bottom of these oceans, uh, and we've yet to discover a lot of this stuff. However, we're going to take a look at this, uh, New Zealand. I picked uh, the South Island, so um, there are some clues here as to where we are. So it says St. Clair, Dunedin, New Zealand. Sydney, this looks like 20... About 2,000 kilometers that way. It looks like 18,000 kilometers to London and 4,000 miles to the South Pole, which is in that direction looking south. A little island there. So we could tell right now. Other thing I saw about this when I clicked on this is an interesting mural. I do like murals. Um, thinking about doing one of these GeoGuessr games with murals. But in any case, let's look up where St. Clair Dunedin, the baby ghost shark off I guess the water is somewhere on the South Island of New Zealand. And let's go into Dunedin. And look for St. Clair. St. Clair Beach, there we are. There's St. Clair, and we're right here. I think this is the St. Clair playground up here. And we're at Forberry and Esplanade. I think we're right there. Hydro Surf. Yeah, I think we had the Colonnade. Well, in any case, I think we're there. It's a park there. Very beautiful scenery, by the way. That Don't go that way. It's the wrong way. And let's guess it. Yep, one yard, 5,000 points. And we get off to the next news event, see where this takes us. And I think we're going to have an interesting one here. Well, I'll take a sip of my caffeine for the morning doing this game. We are at the Mississippi Department of Corrections. 
I don't know when this was taken, but they are now hiring. Contact 1-866-783-9359. Your career begins with us. So yeah, people from Finland, Slovakia, wherever you are in the world, you, there's a job potentially at the Mississippi Department of Corrections. And across the street, we got the Law Enforcement Training Academy. There, There's a Mississippi State Police. There's the outline of the state. All right, what's interesting in Mississippi? Well, this guy, Mississippi prison inmate captured after running out of gas during an escape. So this stuff is always interesting because it reminds me of shows like Knight Rider when I was a kid and watching how they, um, you know, the good guys, Michael Knight, would always catch the guys like this that were escaping from prison, so if somebody broke out. They, these types of stories <laughs> are um, interesting to me, to say the least. So a convicted murderer who escaped a Mississippi prison Saturday was captured Tuesday after he ran out of gas, according to prison officials. Uh, so this guy, Michael Wilson, allegedly carjacked the car that then ran out of gas. Wilson initially fl uh, fled the prison foot after fled the prison foot after being mistakenly he mistakenly held in minimum minimum security custody instead of maximum security. It's like I always questions when I read these articles. How does that happen, right? Fugitive hopped up for a twelve foot razor wire fence early Saturday morning and cut himself in the process. He then solicited an ambulance and told the guy that he was an FBI agent. Always interesting too. Um, he went to a hospital, then went to an auto parts store where he's bleeding profusely, pr prompting the employees to call the police. He used an alias and told the police he'd been in a car wreck. Wilson was transferred by ambulance again to the hospital where he was treated and released. This is Saturday, right? Then he was arrested on Tuesday after he assaulted a woman in Jackson County and carjacked a car. Authorities were still piecing together the rest of Wilson's whereabouts during his escape. The timeline was far too far along, and it's unacceptable, noting a dozen employees are on administrative leave pending disciplinary action. In a day and age where you've got, I think every there's cameras everywhere, How I just don't understand how this happens. This guy, it's like a crazy story. I, I'm sorry, it's just insane. Let's find out where this is, because Mississippi, phew, maybe they need to go back to this place here. More Law Enforcement Training Academy. That's the place um, that some of these folks need maybe to go back to, because that, that to me, I guess he jumped out of this. Maybe he jumped. So let's take a look at this, right? This is the actual location. He jumped over this. Then you have these towers here. Like, how does, how does one escape from a prison and walk around and bleed all over the place at hospitals, go back to the same hospital. I guess you could say only in Mississippi. I dare I say that, right? All right, so they said Jackson. So here's Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson County, but this is Harrison County. And I know that's close nearby. So here's the city of Jackson. And there it is, the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility. I think, yeah, we're right about here. Let's just take a look. Yeah, to the entrance. Yeah, there we are. Uh, Whitfield. Actually, it's, is this the hospital? Well, that would be crazy if this is. it was the hospital. Maybe not. Um, Merritt Health Central. It's like one of these things where <clears throat> an escapee from prison, you want to help you know, find this person to get him back to prison and especially a convicted murder, which is, you don't want that on a person on the streets, right? But let's go back to where <clears throat> where this was. The University of Mississippi Medical Center. So before I click on this, University of Mississippi Medical Center, is that in Jackson? I don't think University of Mississippi is in Jackson. Um... There's only one hospital I see. Unless he went this way. 
I think it's in Oxford, but I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll leave it up to you to look for it. Uh, but that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Let's guess. Let's guess that. And uh, there we are, 12 yards, 5,000 points. Off to the next news article. And let's see, where is this? This is actually Sunila. Sunila, some type of plant. And that looks like Finnish language to me, right? Stora Enzo, the Sunila Mill. What the heck could be going on in Finland at the Sunila Mill? Well, these two guys, plus probably others, wooden batteries are hitting the market. Is this the future of clean energy? So this is an interesting article for me. Actually, these two guys were in Nordkop in Sweden. But a material found in the wood of our plants is being trialed as a way to produce sustainable battery power. Finnish designers, Stora, Enzo, right here, okay, I think that's what we got, have built a production facility costing 12 million euro that will create a renewable bio-based carbon by turning trees into batteries. This will be achieved by the use of a wood-based material called lingen, not lingen berries, as you find in Sweden, but lingen. The plant is based outside the company's Sunila Mill in Kotka, southern Finland, which employs over 150 people and specializes in producing soft wood pulp and biofuels like tall oil and turpentine. This, um, actually, Linga Energy is a business based in Sweden doing the same thing. Their goal is a cost-efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly solution for energy storage. So it talks about how it's Lingen, Lingnin, and how it's formed into batteries, uh, non-renewable graphite. The advantage of tree source battery. Uh, here's this. Here's this plant. I think, which is pretty cool. You see this here. Let's just see. This. If we come around the corner, there's a bridge. Right there. Right. To. Wait. This. Let's just see. Is this the picture? Yeah, I think we're probably right here. Yep, there are those little, so this is pretty cool. The actual location, we're down right here. And um, in Kotka, Finland. So let's take a look at this. Let's find out where this is. Again, the link to the <clears throat> article is in the description below, but I thought this is pretty cool. Batteries out of trees. This is, I like that sort of stuff, right? Being uh, business with, you know, renewable energy, etc. It's always pretty good. All right, so Kotka, where's this mill? I think the mill, Sunila, is up here. There it is, Sunila. There it is, Stora Enso. Oi. Um, are we coming around the mountain? Nope, we are about, I guess we're right there. Maybe right here. And I think that's where we are. 23 yards, 5,000 points to Sunila Mill in Kotka. Finland, anybody from Kotka watching this or near Kotka? I noticed that it's closer to Russia, not that far away. But anybody in this part of the world, comment down below if you're from Kuvala, Kotka, or in this area. Or even, heck, if you're from the mill or you work there. All right, what is this? This is um, mountains and off to our east. Looks pretty dry, pretty arid. Not a not much something here, but not much around at all. A nice new building, and the guy taking the picture. Almost looks like an airport of sorts. Well, that's what it is. It's actually a launch pad. And this news article, which is pretty interesting, is Virgin Galactic launches sales for four hundred and fifty thousand dollars space flights. Richard Branson's aerospace company will start selling tickets on the 16th of February for its highly anticipated flights into space. Yeah, so for $450,000, you could spend, what, maybe you have it, to fly to space. And the company plans to have its first 1,000 customers in commercial service later this year. And Virgin Galactic will launch the space flights from Spaceport America, New Mexico, 
Before they take off in the six-person rocket, however, would-be astronauts will spend a few days getting ready for the main event with what the company describes as space preparedness activities and astronaut-specific training programs. They can bring three guests with them and will enjoy luxury accommodations as they gear up for the big day. Well, this is something... I don't even know if I'd have them if I had the money to spend on something like this that I would do. It's just, it just seems like for me there's too much risk. I've got kids. It's like you know, listen, this would be cool if I when I would like before kids, I probably would have done something like this. But now, mm, not going to take that risk. It's amazing how your risk changes as you get older uh, and you have kids. Um, so the actual space flight spans 90 minutes and includes an air launch and a Mach 3 ride to over 300,000 feet above Earth. Spaceship 2, as the rocket is called, can accommodate four guests and two crew members. So you can look from their, one of their 17 windows, and we are going to take a look at where Spaceport, this is Spaceport America, where this is going to launch from. And let's go and take a look. I think... I know this is in New Mexico because I actually looked at this. I forget if this is where the Red Bull, I guess Richard Branson had something else launching. I forget what it was. Or that Red, the guy with um, the Red Bull that went to space, Red Bull sponsored or whatever. By the way, Red Bull, if you're listening, you can you're always feel welcome to sponsor these videos, especially when I do these things in the morning. Um, anyway, um, Truth or Consequences, Elephant Butte, Winston, Hatch, always some interesting names in Bent, New Mexico. You can get Bent in New Mexico. <laughs> so anyway, enough of that. I think this is near Truth or Consequences. Um, it is in the middle of nowhere, the trailhead. I say it was out this way. Maybe I'm wrong. I know it's this way truth or consequences timber mountain nest it's got to be up oh, here it is the vertical launch area that's where what does that say launch pad one road yeah so as you see there's nothing here i'm not sure the distance from truth or consequences to here or rincon to here but we're near the white sands missile range um so there's a good distance here where there's not much around so that's where we are. Ooh, we are actually 4.6 miles away. So thought I was getting a perfect score. That did not. Hopefully you can get a perfect score. Oh, there's Spaceport America. Ah, Spaceport America, vertical launch area. All right, didn't know there was two. I guess I should know this when I did the game, but Spaceport America Drive is temporarily closed. All right, let's get off to the fifth and final news article. And we've got an interesting one here. <clears throat> this is to the sport. Let's see if these people. Nope, they're they're. Is that Sweden? Is that a Swed Swedish jersey? Is that that Slovakia? And there's the Google car there. There's the Google car there. And we've got HC Slovan Hockey Center. Looks like some hockey equipment out here to actually to dry. And skates, maybe the stink. They need to get the stink out of the building. Because <laughs> I will say this, give you some insight. I've not played hockey. I've had friends who've played hockey. But I played a sport similar, lacrosse, which is played on hockey rinks, indoor lacrosse, on hockey rinks without the ice, obviously. It's like sometimes uh, they say lacrosse is like the hockey without the ice. And uh, I know Wayne Gretzky, Brendan Shanahan, a lot of these major um, big-time hockey players have played lacrosse in Canada. But I have also played outdoor lacrosse. Yeah, and I know you have the same type of equipment for the most part. You have shoulder pads and stuff in lacrosse. Stuff, elbow pads, it stinks. Like, you sweat, it stinks. So you got to air that stuff out. So, all right. So we are Slovan, which is Bila. So we're in Slovakia. Why the heck are we in Slovakia at what looks like what is a hockey arena? Well, let's take a look at it. Men's hockey quarterfinals. This is Olympics. Slovakia stuns the United States. So top-seeded team in the men's 
hockey tournament, will not get a chance to play for a medal. The United States, which finished with its best record in round-robin play, was eliminated with a thrilling 3-2 to two shutout, sh- shutout, shootout loss to Slovakia in Wednesday's first quarterfinal game at the Beijing Olympics. Slovakia forced an overtime with a goal from Captain Marek Hirvilik, Hirvik in the final minute of regulation. In the final minute. And, uh, yeah, that's crazy. So it's a tough loss to the United States as they will not be able to medal. And um, not a good not a good outing there. So eighth-seeded Slovakia will face Finland in the semifinals. Russians beat Denmark 3-1. to one. And Finland with an easy win over Switzerland, 5-1. to one. So I'm guessing Finland will probably beat Slovakia and go to play for the gold medal. Fifth-seeded Canada plays Sweden in a quarterfinal uh, that has yet to be played. I'm sure by this point you probably already know the score as this gets um, out there. So yeah, tough loss, but I give the Slovaks credit. Great country, Slovakia. With the big win, let's look up. Instead of going to Beijing, we're going to look up, again, where this arena is. And the arena that uh, I decided to choose uh, was, you know, could have gone to a lot of different places. But I think this could be the name of it. I'm not really sure. Malahala. You can stay at the Double Tree by Hilton next door and go to a hockey match there. So we are... Near, I think, on the outskirts of Bratislava. Let's see, is there anything else that we need to look at here? This car, did the Google car go through a red light? It looks like it did, actually. Let's go back to this. It's turning, and I think it went through the red light. Okay, so Zimni Stadion. Interesting looking arena. Let's go off to Bratislava, Slovakia, where they're, I'm sure today they are happy that they beat the Americans and they're able to play likely for a medal. So where were we? Sky Park, Bratislava. Here it is, Zimni Stadion, right here. Andre Jean Yep, there's the double tree by Hilton. And let's kick, click there and see if that's 37 yards, 5,000 points for a total of 24,973. New Zealand with the baby, I would say baby shark. I always think of that song, Baby Ghost Shark. Virgin Galactic launching from New Mexico. You've got $450,000. Go for it. <laughs> the crazy guy that escaped the prison in Mississippi. Slovakia. We went to Slovakia for their big, massive win over the United States in Olympic hockey. And the renewable battery, wooden batteries in Finland. This was a good day of some good news. I know that um, if you've got any comments or suggestions in terms of the news or news articles, feel free to comment below or send an email to me at all over the map 23 at gmail.com um, open to any suggestions or if you've got some news article you want me to put out there uh, again feel free with that said thanks for tuning in hit that like button by the way and if you haven't subscribed and you're playing these games and watching this please subscribe it's uh, really helped grow the channel really pre- appreciate each and every one of you that are tuning in at least till this point with that said have a great day cheers